A couple of weeks back, I made a video about Arkhaven Comics, um, a uh, sort of Webtoons alternative for serious comic book uh, enjoyers. And I listed some of my um, sort of more prominent or some good comics for you to start off with there. Um, and as a continuation of that video, um, I wanted to bring the spotlight um, to one sort of comic that I've uh, read recently. Um, and just spend a little bit more time talking about that particular comic. And then in the upcoming weeks, I'll do a few more of these. Um, so this, the, the, this spotlight is about Midnight's War by Vox Day. Now, don't let long-haired Batman over here fool you into thinking this is a superhero comic. It is everything but. Midnight's War is a supernatural organized crime sort of vampire themed comic book um the uh it's it's actually quite interesting um we have sort of uh three or four perspectives here we have the perspective of a rookie uh police officer who's been thrown into this sort of vampire world now i should note vampires are out in the open in this series and they have been for quite some time. They use some economic turmoil to sort of boost themselves into world leaders. And everyone knows about vampires. Daytime for human, nighttime for vampires. Um, but we have the perspective of a, a rookie cop who's an ex-military um, person who's thrown into the in inside depths of the vampire world that he wouldn't normally be a part of. We have this strange order... Um, sort of religious order who are against the vampires and then we also have the warring vampire clans um, which sort of read like uh, corrupt political leaders slash uh, kingdoms slash um, like mafia style families um, who are always bidding against each other to get control of the blood supplies um, around the world uh, or city in this instance um i thought um, based on the cover it would be a superhero comic it very much isn't it's a nitty gritty dark and violent sort of mystery uh style comic um and the best part is um it's on archaven so you can read single chapters in a matter of minutes on the toilet on on the train home um however you sort of like to sort of read or if, whenever you've got a spare five minutes you can pick it up and read it um there is quite a bit of uh violence um, lots of blood, etc. This isn't like for for kids, um, but um, you know that it's it's a vampire comic. What do you expect? In terms of art, this is up there with some of the best on Arkhaven and some of the best in the industry, in my opinion. The set pieces and the environments are very detailed. Colors are bright and pop. Uh, all the characters look very unique. And they all have a good silhouette and shape and structure to them. Um, the vampires are, for the most part, dark and sexy. And, and they're, it's very, like, 1999, you know, Blade and the Matrix, like, leather and, like, that sort of grunge goth sort of look to the vampires. So that's a little bit nostalgic for me um, growing up in that period, you know. Um, and um, the first couple of issues, I was like, Ugh, superhero. Um, and I wasn't sort of buying it. Um, but then when I realized it wasn't a superhero comic and that was just establishing one of many main characters from the different points of views that I realized, hang on, there's, there's a bit of meat to this. Um, and then I, I really sort of got, uh, involved in the sort of vampire, uh, intrigue stories, but I actually really liked the cop story the most so far. Um, but I think it's cause I relate more with that character, um, and kudos for an accurate rear naked choke being shown in the comic. That's just a win for me. Um, so if you're, if you want to get sort of dark and gritty and sexy with the vampire thing and you, you're, you want a little bit of action and violence, um, and you want to look at some fantastic art with a solid story, head on down to Arkhaven, that's Arkhaven.com and check out Midnight's War. It might just be your new favorite thing. I'm definitely excited for future issues and I cannot wait to see where this one goes. Once again, that's at arkhaven.com, which is completely free for anyone wanting to get into comic books. It's very high res, works on your phone and your desktop. I believe there's an app coming soon. There's no reason to not check it out.